Here are 10 free traffic sources that have a combined reach of more than 140 million visits every single month. Now, this is perfect if you want to drive traffic, get backlinks, and generate more leads and sales for your business. Now, the very first thing you need to do is go to profitcopilot.com slash traffic and get my free traffic intensive course that will show you how I got over 30,000 website visitors every day for free. Welcome to profitcopilot.com. My name is Mick Meany, and let's dive into today's first traffic source. So this free traffic source is called pubhtml5.com. It gets close to 2 million visits a month. The website looks like this. It basically allows you to publish interactive magazines or eBooks, which means it can be used for top of funnel content as well as middle of funnel content. So in addition to allowing you to publish eBooks or magazines, it also acts as a search engine. For example, if we type in something relevant, perhaps marketing, what we're going to get back is a whole heap of magazines or eBooks that people have already published on the platform. So that means you can do that too. Now these can, can contain links to your website, to affiliate links. However, do read the terms of service first to make sure they haven't changed overnight. Okay, next up is boardpanda.com. It gets over 60 million visits a month. Occasionally hits around 70 and we can see recently it's almost got 80 million visits a month. Now I know what you're thinking, but Board Panda, yes, it's a massive website, but they accept user generated content. That means they will accept content from you as well. Now, before you start contributing to this website, you need a little bit of a strategy because they're not just going to accept any old stuff that you submit. It has to be relevant to their audience. It has to make sense for them to publish it. Now, a good way to do that is to go to these to the search icon. Click on that. It will give you this search form. Then type in something relevant. Perhaps this time we could look at health, maybe keto, something relevant to your niche. And what we're going to do is have a look at the results to find the common threads, the common patterns, see really what links them all together. So you have a rough idea of what type of content you should be contributing to this website, because as we've seen, the traffic levels are pretty enormous. So it makes sense to take your time with this, get a clear strategy and put your best foot forward and make it about the audience that are consuming the content here. The next traffic source I have for you is called articlebiz.com. It is one of the better article directories, which still have their use in today's marketing, but we don't really want to be using it just to republish existing content and use them as link farms. That strategy no longer works. Now, this is one of the better ones. The traffic isn't setting the world on fire, but that's okay. It is a pretty decent website. This is what it looks like. So it's going to allow you to submit your articles. There's a button right there that says submit article. But before you do that, you really want to take a look at the categories because if your niche or your industry is mentioned here, and there's a lot mentioned here, then you will probably find a welcome home on this website. Okay. Next up is issue.com. That's spelled I double S U U dot com. It gets over 30 million visits a month. This is what it looks like. It allows you to publish ebooks, infographics, PDFs, and also check this out. It automates some of your content marketing and digital publish publishing efforts, excuse me, some of your digital publishing efforts by creating shareable snippets for social, mobile, email, and more. So it's a pretty good platform to use. That's issue.com, I double S U U.com. Okay. So next let's pivot slightly and talk about a different way to drive traffic, which is through podcasting. So this website, anchor.fm, 
which receives around 9 million visits a month, well, it's going to make it really easy for you to get started with podcasting. Now, the great thing with podcasting is you can syndicate that right across the internet. I'm talking, obviously, about iTunes and the Apple machine that is without a doubt king of podcasts. So that can put you in front of an enormous audience. Now, the great thing with Anchor is that it makes it really easy to get started with podcasting and it makes it free to do as well. It practically gives you everything you need. Now, listen, if you want me to dive into podcasting in a bit more detail in a separate tutorial, please let me know in the comments. I would be delighted to create that tutorial for you. Next up is calameo.com with over 2 million visits every month. This is the website. They accept a wide range of different niches, different industries. Now, they've got several options on here. If we take a look at pricing, you can publish for free. What I recommend you do is try it out for free. If you're getting good results, then maybe consider upgrading to one of the premium options. But don't risk your money until you are already getting decent results and you feel that you can improve what you're already, already receiving. Right, the next traffic source is called Slate.com. It gets over 28 million visits a month. And I know this is another mammoth traffic source, but check this out. Slate actually publish or republish content from bloggers occasionally and they want to hear from you. So we're going to discuss two ways to do that. First of all, you can send send news tips to Slate via email or via letter. There's also secure drop for sensitive information. But this is really important. You should not send press releases, pictures or feedback to their email. This is exclusively for news tips. So if you have something fairly exclusive and it feels like or, um, Slate might have the right audience for you, go ahead and submit to them. Now, there are another way to get published on Slate, and that is to create a pitch. In fact, they tell you exactly how to do it. So they'll tell you step by step what you need to do in order to get featured on Slate. These guys want your content. Now, they are very selective and that's fair enough, but don't let that stop you if you believe that your content can stand on its own and it is relevant to their audience. In fact, they even tell you which editor you should contact. Now, we briefly touched upon press releases. So let's take a bit of a deeper dive into how you can get traffic from press releases. This website, P or Log, gets over a quarter of a million visits a month, almost half a million previously. Now, this is one of the best free press release distribution services around. Take the time to explore this website and make sure that it feels right for you and your business. I believe that every business can benefit from press releases, and that's why I recommend including them in your marketing strategy. OK, let's take another pivot here because we're going to go in a slightly different direction and we're going to automate social media marketing. Now, if you have a WordPress blog, a self-hosted WordPress blog, then this plugin is essential. It's called Revive Old Posts. Now, this is going to allow you to schedule your social media posting. Plus, it's also going to publish your previous posts. So instead of having a bunch of posts sat on your website, not getting any traction, not getting any traffic, just sat there doing nothing. This is going to bring life back into them. Just a couple of really important notes when choosing this or any other WordPress plugin. You want to make sure that you check last updated. Make sure that it's fairly recent. If it's more than a year old, then it's probably out of date. You want to have a look at the active installations. Obviously, the higher, the better. You know, this is one instance where each one of these active installations is effectively a vote of confidence for the plugin. You also want to make sure that it works with your current version of WordPress. 
And one more thing is to check the reviews. And as you can see, it gets pretty good reviews. There's a few negative as well. So I would encourage you to take a deep dive into the negative reviews first, see what people have got to say, and then take a look at the positive reviews. Really spend time reading what people have got to say and when they said it, because if you notice, a lot of the negative reviews are several months old, some a couple of years old, three years old. But if we look at the positive reviews, we'll see that they're much more current. So that could be an indication that there, there was some issue with the plugin a few months ago. And I would say, based on the reviews, just the reviews, I would absolutely not hesitate to use this. That is, if you're not using a premium service, the one that I use is Content Studio. That's fantastic for my needs. But if you don't want to spend 50 bucks a month or whatever, then this could be a good option for you. There's also Buffer, which is really good for, for automated social media posting. This is Buffer. Big fan of Buffer, of the free version at least. And then I also recommend Later for automated Instagram posting and I believe it now includes TikTok as well. So these are all good options for automated social media traffic. But ask yourself a really important question. Why are you doing this in the first place? Why are you trying to drive traffic? Well, the answer has got to be because traffic equals money. So take a look at what one of my students has achieved. He's called Matt. He's made over two million dollars using my secret traffic methods. Now, if you want to know how he did it, I will show you for free when you go to profitcopilot.com slash traffic and get that free four day traffic intensive course. Thank you for checking this out. I hope to see you again very soon. Take care.